वेलकम टू अनफोल्ड डेटा साइंस फ्रेंड्स दिस इज अमन हियर एंड आई एम ए डेटा साइंटिस्ट इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी विल अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ ऑटो रिग्रेशन विथ ए सी एफ एंड पी ए सी एफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग टू अंडरस्टैंड फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो विल बी हाउ डू वी डिटरमाइन एट वाट ऑर्डर माई ऑटो रिग्रेशन विल वर्क फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन एरिमा यू वुड हैव सीन ए आर ऑफ ऑर्डर टू और इन नॉर्मल ऑटो रिग्रेशन मॉडल यू वुड हैव सीन ए आर ऑफ थ्री और ए आर ऑफ टू समथिंग लाइक दैट सो हाउ डू वी डिटरमिन whether it should be 2 or 3 or 5 right that we will discuss in this video before that some of the basic concepts that some people might not be very clear with for example what is a lagged time series what is what is auto regression what are acf and pacf right all these things we will understand one by one and then we will see how do we determine the n value of ar model okay so before moving further on to this video i want to give a big shout out to this person here in the towards data science there is a article by mr jay salvi this article is a very nice 6 minute article which you can go through and it will help you a lot in understanding what is acf what is pacf and i have taken reference from this article as well okay before moving further guys let us understand what is lagged series okay so time series lag example as you can see here this is my original time series 21 22 21 20, 20 and 19 okay lagged time series will always come by some number lag for example if you see here this is 1 lag so 1 lag time series means at time t the original time series is 21 at time t minus 1 the original time series is 22 the lagged time series at time t will be 22 and at time t minus 1 will be 21 which means i am taking from here i am taking from here so this first value goes out of the picture and all these values come here okay so starting from here that is what is called a lagged time series now why this concept is so important guys so lag one correlation as i have written here will be the correlation between original time series and the lagged time series but in original time series we have five observation and lag time series will have four observation hence the last observation of the original time series has been taken out okay so if somebody asks you in pen and paper how do how the auto correlation lag is computed how the uh, lagged auto correlation is computed then you can give this example right so this is the original time series lag time series it will just shift one space this side and then you take the last value out from the original calculate the correlation that becomes your lag one correlation similarly lag two and lag three correlation this is what is lagged uh, time series okay now what is auto correlation guys or auto regression a statistic uh, statistical model is auto regressive if it predicts future value based on the past values okay so any time series or any series or any model where you can predict the future value based on the past value of the series itself for example now the temperature is 30 degree c if i tell you what will be the temperature one hour from now if you can predict that using current temperature then that is nothing but auto regression okay now what is acf guys acf is a function which gives a value of auto correlation of any series with its lagged values so whatever example we saw here right the acf or auto correlation function will give you this number actually correlation of this with this if you ask for lag 2 then it will take original time series and lag 2 time series and give you the correlation lag 3 same way and all this will be plotted we can plot the acf and we call that acf chart okay lagged value correlation with the lagged value very simple acf what is pacf guys pacf is an indirect way of finding auto correlation where we try to capture just the real value of the time series we do not try to capture the uh, noise in the time series we we do not try to capture the values which has been captured by the previous values so i am saying an indirect function to find auto correlation after removing the relationship explained by previous lags so if some relationship has been explained by previous lags then we do not need those relations right so for example this is my original time series this is my lag one time series my lag one time series explain some of the relation so i do not need lag two time series or lag three time series that is what the pacf will give us let us see with the example and then we will understand so i am just importing some packages that i need maybe pandas matplotlib and 
some of the parameter settings right and then I am going and creating a time series actually if you see here np dot line space 500 will give you 500 numbers that is to put on the x axis and then some random normal numbers 500 normal numbers ok. This I create and then I am creating an exponential of that axis line. So, I am just want to create an exponential time series basically and then I club normal numbers with exponential number to get the actual time series. So, as you can see this is my actual time series here right this is my actual time series as you can see here. Now, you can see some exponential trend in this time series and it is a combination of exponential plus normal. So, both you will see right. Now, I will plot a ACF on this time series. So, how to plot just say ACF give your time series and give up to how many lags you want the correlation fine. So, we have 500 numbers in our time series up to 200 lags I want to see the correlation value that is what I am seeing. Now, this ACF lag I am plotting these are all plot parameters no need to worry much about it ok. So, if I plot this right what you will see is a time series I mean ACF plot like this. Now, this first line is a confidence interval 95 percent confidence interval before and above 0 ok. And if you can see this time series has a decent amount of lag. So, on, on y axis you have the correlation has a decent amount of correlation up to 100 lakhs right. So, correlation is 0 0.2 up to 150 lakhs also correlation is somewhere around 0, but up to 125 lakhs you can say it has some correlation ok. So, from ACF chart what we what we found found out is there are up to 125 lakhs some some relation is there. What is the meaning of this is the time series is related to previous 125 observations or time series can be regressed on previous 125 observations. But if we consider previous 125 observations then it will be a multi collinearity problem because if at time t that the, the time series can be explained by t minus 1 then at t minus 1 also time series can be explained by t minus 2 right. So, we do not want to have a very large number of entries in the time series we do not want to have a very large number of lags to be considered we want to limit this lags to avoid multi collinearity and that is given by PACF chart. So, same time series I am plotting a PACF chart here and as I told you PACF chart is nothing but a advanced or sophisticated version of seeing how many lags are actually impacting the time series after removing the noise. This is to help us in removing the multi collinearity problem while doing the auto regression. Now, if you can see here we can see the significant amount of correlation value up to may be lag 6 or 7 and hence in this time series we can say that our auto regression model should be of 7 auto regression model should be of window 7. The meaning of that is take the lag of the time series up to 7 lags and use that time series to predict the next value ok very simple. So, just to reiterate once what all we discussed guys lag time series nothing, but you shift the value 1 lag 1 shift 2 lag 2 shift ok. What is auto correlation or auto regression you predict the value based on the past value simple what will ACF and PACF give you? It will give you how many lags are making sense for your AR model. In in ACF plain a ACF it will show you many lags because in some way or other these lags will be related to the original time series, but we do not want to consider all these lags since we might have a multi collinearity problem. So, we want to limit that PACF is answer to that PACF tells you up to what lags it makes a perfect sense for you to create a auto regression model and in this example the auto regression model of degree 7 is what is making sense ok. Similarly, if you go to the same uh, uh, article which I referred to you can see how to determine the degree of a MA model also ok. So, in this article it is given how to determine the moving average size or window as well and why I am explaining you AR and MA processes because these two are basic of something known as ARIMA or ARMA model as well, which we will be discussing in our time series playlist coming forward ok. So, let me know what questions you have in mind, I will see you all in the next video till then all of you stay safe and take care.